that look she just gave you? Boom! Counselor, are you drunk? <laughs> Morelli has married. Mrs. Campbell had a statue fall on her foot at Caesars. Mr. Wallace got married last night, and he needs an annulment. Pretend you're a professional. As you know, the show is inspired by Michael Cristalli and Mark Sagis, and they are real life Vegas criminal defense attorneys. Uh, Joe and Harry Gantz, who do taxicab confessions, made a documentary about the two guys. My brother and I were making a documentary series for the Sundance Channel called Pleasure for Sale. It was about a legal brothel in Pahrump, Nevada, and one of the subjects needed some legal help, and we happened to be friends with the ACLU attorney in town. He, ref uh, he referred us to uh, these two attorneys that we met. They were Mark Sagis and Michael Cristalli and they helped our subject and they were just very impressive. They were quintessential Las Vegas attorneys. They had the $2,000 suits, the fancy cars, but they were bulldogs for their clients. They had an antagonistic relationship with the DA and uh, we thought they would make a great series. With an eye toward trying to turn that into a reality series. Didn't go forward that way for legal reasons. Uh, the defense or the prosecutors could have subpoenaed every tape and used it against them in court. But CBS decided it would be a, a nice idea for a series. And they said, go to Vegas and hang out with these guys. See if there's a show in this. And there was a show in this. These guys are the most colorful, entertaining guys and showed us a side of Vegas that we had never seen before. Are those guys are writing any of the episodes this year? Uh, they're not writing them. They're living them. Kevin and I have written a lot. The, the pilot and two other episodes so far, and we've so the, out of the first six. So we've been doing quite a bit of writing. We have a wonderful writing staff, too. Guys who've worked on West Wing, Roseanne, a whole mix, because our show rides the line between, uh, we have both, I think, heartfelt drama, and we have comedy, and we, 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 we shift between the two. So we have writers from different walks of life, different experience backgrounds and, and it's a great writing staff. We will have everything from the typical kind of murder case that you see in these shows down to a guy who embezzled a couple grand out of the office safe. Uh, there's a case uh, that, uh, that uh, Mike Cristalli uh, did in the pilot that we will try, we will probably at some point turn into a case for instance about uh, the runner-up in the Miss Las Vegas contest gets wrapped up by the cops. Um, and they chipped her tooth, and Michael is currently suing PD in Vegas over that case. Um, so it's kind of funny and, and, and kind of odd, and, and that's the kind of case that we might do, again, as well as the big murder cases that these shows always do. It's a drama with comedic elements, and we already know Jerry O'Connell and Jim Belushi are really two of the funniest guys around, but they're also two of the best dramatic actors around. Jim is somebody that CBS has wanted to work with for a long time. So he was their first choice once we finished the, uh, the pilot script. We were lucky that he was excited to do it. And the great thing with casting Jim Belushi, he's like a magnet for other actors and cast and writers and crew. People want to work with him because he's such a wonderful actor. He's a, he's a star. Guys, what brought you to the Defenders? Uh, money? Uh, was it, uh... it wasn't money for me. No, it, wasn't. it was actually... It wasn't money for me. It was two things for me. It was the script, the fact that it's a different legal drama. And I read a lot of legal dramas out there, because there are a few this season. And this one was just, it was different. It was about a couple guys who are just a little crafty, legal. They don't break no, the no, law. don't break the law. But they were just, it's based on a couple real guys who are real, real movers and, and they're shakers. They're movers. They're, you know, they're, they're real guys, too. They're, like, from Chicago. They're... They're grounded guys, and the, pro the real problem that they have in this in this show is is they fall in love with their clients, uh, literally with you, <laughs> but figuratively we, we just have such compassion for our clients, and uh, it gets us in uh, it gets us in situations. When we were filming the pilot, which stretched out over about 13 days, as I recall. Mark and Michael were on the set almost every day, and they would come in their suits and they would stand next to uh, Jim and Jerry, and there would be four of them. It was very disconcerting, but wonderful. We knew we had two great actors, but you don't know if there's gonna be chemistry between two great actors until you start filming. But the first day we shot, I said, we have a show, and, and it's, this show is gonna go. Uh, and I'm a superstitious person. I normally never say that, don't count my chickens before they're hatched, but the chemistry was so fantastic between Jim and Jerry on day one. They have turned into the perfect team because they have a chemistry both on camera and off camera that is unique 
and that is genuine and that is really a reflection of the original attorneys that their lives are based on. Uh, so, and, and the fact that they're able to bring humor to it um, because the real attorneys had sort of a gallows humor where they had to make fun of their situation sometime because they're dealing with life and death issues and Jerry and Jim certainly have that feeling. It, it's just a lot of fun having those guys to, uh, to base everything on because they're real interesting characters. Yeah, they're funny. They drink big ass martinis with three big <laughs> olives. Not when they're working. Not when they're working. Or or a court. No. But they go to they go to a little restaurant afterwards. <laughs> Even though they're not perfect, they are very authentic and real and you want them to succeed and you want their clients to succeed. Many of the cases that we'll do will be not so much things that could only happen in Vegas, but things that will happen to the kinds of people that you only find in Vegas. I understand the second episode, you actually have to represent him, right? Yes, <laughs> I do. It's great, and he just saw it last night. I just saw it last night. It was really good. He, uh, he got in a little trouble. He got a little passionate. <laughs> uh, and he, uh, you know, jumped all over, um, uh, what was it, the victim? No, yeah, uh, the victim. No, no, it was, yeah, it was the, it was victim, the victim, yeah. In the hallway, he's like, tell the truth, tell the truth, damn it. And so uh, he gets nailed for intimidating a witness. And that's a true story, by the way. Yeah. There's issues that deal with race. There's issues that deal with particular laws to Las Vegas about gambling debts. And um, all of these have sort of a, a Vegas flavor to them um, that are both, uh, you know, empathetic characters, but show sort of the inside story of, of how vice is... Uh, how vice happens in Vegas and how the defense team strategizes to try to defend their clients. The DA is not interested in justice here. This is about winning. No deal. Bad decision. Not if we win. You know how dumb that sounds coming from a Vegas lawyer? You want to go into court tomorrow and tell him to shove it? We'll do that. <gasps> oh, there's Ray. Ray. Hold down the fort. George, leaving? Just make sure he says not guilty. This fall, the best show in town isn't on the strip. <laughs> Got that right. The Defenders. Yeah! Premieres Wednesday, September 22nd, only CBS.